on Q13 News, I'm Marnie Hughes. And I'm Matt Lorge. Some families, they light off their own fireworks. Others go to a show or watch from home. Nadia Romero is at one of the biggest fireworks shows in our area along Lake Union. So Nadia, take us there. What's the feeling like? Well, everyone is just waiting in anticipation, hoping for what a lot of people think is the biggest and best part of Seafair, right? The big moment, the fireworks show here at Gasworks Park. And people have been here all day. There's been so many uh, festivities and concerts and things going on. Take a look behind me. This is a great location. You can see the Space Needle there off in the distance. All of the boats are out waiting on Lake Union, waiting for that show. And get this, we interviewed a, a woman earlier who said she had to get out here at 7 in the morning to make sure she had a good spot for her and her family. 4th of July 2018 at Gasworks Park features everything you could want to enjoy the holiday. Delicious grilled foods. Fun and games. For every age group to enjoy. And music to keep the crowds entertained. While they wait for the main event. I come out almost every other year. Tammy Hamrich has been sitting in this chair since 7.15 this morning, just wanting to get a great view of Lake Union and the fireworks show. Back when I was growing up, we were able to light them all off. We had a lot of the loud ones. My brothers did. But now fireworks are illegal in Seattle city limits, so Tammy and thousands of others have to get their fireworks fixed from city-sanctioned shows. But just five years ago, someone didn't follow the rules and lit a firework from the hills and it hit a boat here. There and like everybody's like, boat on fire, boat on fire. Everybody's running over there, a couple fire extinguishers were, you know, people were shooting at that. It didn't work, so then they kicked us all out of there and the fire department came. 14 boats destroyed, four others damaged. All of this happening as the Seafair 2013 fireworks show kicked off. That's why firefighters, EMTs, and police officers patrolled Seafair today with that incident top of mind. Seattle Fire responded to 100 fireworks-related calls in the first eight days of July 2017. So there's no shortage of uniform personnel this year. It's a welcome sight for Tammy. I stand for freedom for our military and our American ambulance drivers and police officers. All right, got to say your thank yous to everyone who's been working so hard. And because there are so many people here at Gasworks Park, uh, law enforcement agencies, they've got everything figured out. They're expecting a lot of congestion, a lot of traffic. We don't have to be in this area, avoid it. So we will show you all of the congestion. Um, law enforcement already has some roads roped off. They've got the exit signs. There's, they want people to go out in as many exits as possible, but in a safe fashion. So we'll show you all that coming up tonight at 11. Reporting live from Gasworks Parks, Nadia Romero, Q13 News. Oh, such a good